Welcome to Virtuel, a web series exploring how both historical and modern women have made music at home. This episode is about the art of arranging, or transcribing a piece of music to adapt it for different instruments than those for which it was originally written. I am performing my own arrangement of the Sarabande from J.S. Bach's second partita, originally for solo violin.
In the 18th century, it was rather taboo for most women to perform in public. So most women had to perform music at home, either by playing with friends and family or just by themselves. Many women hosted salons, inviting local and traveling musicians over into their homes for a little music party. Back then, there was no internet, so musicians had to get a little bit creative in the way uh, in finding new and exciting music that fit their exact instrumentation. Some fascinating arrangements exist in Salonier uh, Sarah Levy's music collection, um, but unfortunately, most of these arrangements were either lost or never written down. I've been arranging music for over 15 years, and I love it. I'm fascinated with how playing a piece of music on a different instrument can uncover new facets of the piece, and sometimes even completely reinvent it. Most of my arrangements are for recorder quartet, but since the pandemic I have had no one to play with, so I've started arranging for solo flute. Uh, one of the challenges in playing solo flute music is that we can only play one note at a time. So we have to be a little bit more inventive in how we express harmony or chords. Uh, luckily, there are many examples that we can draw inspiration from. J.S. Bach's solo flute partita often is very rhythmical in his expression of chords. <laughs> The opening of CPE Bach's solo flute sonata places the bass uh, prominently as the first note of each measure, and the rest of the bar is filled in with the melody. many styles, of course, uh, but one found in his uh, Fantasias for solo flute alternates notes between bass and treble, and therefore each of the two lines sort of move in parallel at the same time. I've done my best to create something that is not just an imitation of violin music, but something that can exist in its own right as a new piece of flute music. And I am very proud to continue in a long tradition of women arranging music at home.